A nascent technology has now emerged as the crucial key in the world's fight against global warming. Tiny advanced chemistry cells which are used in lithium ion battery will play a big role in cutting short the world's dependence on fossil fuels. The world is racing to tame this technology and make these batteries efficient and safe. India, which imports these batteries, is also taking baby steps in that direction. The government last year launched the national program on advanced chemistry cell battery storage to reduce import dependence. It has announced a production-linked scheme for potential manufacturers and has got good responses. And one of the bids has surprised many, including the industry giants like Reliance Industries and Ola Mobility. Rajesh Exports, the country's largest gold jewellery exporter with no prior exposure to battery making, has emerged as one of the four companies that have been declared eligible for an EV battery manufacturing PLI. Advanced chemistry cells are the new generation technologies that can store electric energy either as electrochemical or as chemical energy and convert it back to electric energy as and when required. Globally, manufacturers are investing in these new generation technologies at a commercial scale to fill the expected boom in battery demand over the next decade. Consumer electronics, electric vehicles, advanced electricity grids, solar rooftops, etc., which are major battery-consuming sectors, are expected to achieve robust growth in the coming years. Several companies have already started investing in battery packs, though the capacities of these facilities are too small when compared to global averages. Four companies, including Reliance New Energy Solar, Ola Electric Mobility, Hyundai Global Motors Company and Rajesh Exports Limited were selected last month to receive incentives under the government's 18,100 crore rupees production-linked incentive scheme. They will have to set up the facility within two years. The government program is designed in such a way that it is technology agnostic. The beneficiary firm is free to choose suitable advanced technology and the corresponding plant and machinery, raw material and other intermediate goods for setting up cell manufacturing facility to cater to any application. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.